Today we discuss the Yamaha JR1 and JR2, the perfect guitar for little kids and adults and teenagers and elderly and anyone camping and... <laughs> Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. Remember, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. And please subscribe to the channel below if you haven't done so already. Uh, love the comments, love the feedback, love the subscriptions. So what I have here is the Yamaha JR1 and the Yamaha JR2. Now, these are both three-quarter folk-style guitars, um, and there's a lot, lot of similarities, just a few differences. So they both have spruce tops, but this one you can see here has got a nice burst finish in it. And then the back and the sides are, uh, they will use their locally sourced tone woods, which basically means the, the best tone wood they can get at the time locally that's already available. This is Morantes, what is on uh, the JR1 right here. Uh, the JR2 uses a mahogany style pattern on their UTF, uh, which is their ultra thin film. It's basically like a, a layered, <clears throat> kind of a laminate, excuse me. So those are the main differences there. Uh, but other than that, they're similar in the sense that they have a 21 and a quarter scale length. Now your scale length is the measurement between your saddle to your bridge. A regular dreadnought, for instance, a full size is 25.5 is very, very popular. So that gives you kind of a size difference of the, the, net, uh, the neck to the saddle um, size there. They have, uh, these are gloss finish. It actually has a matte finish on the back of the neck, which is great because it's not real sticky as you're playing um, back there. There's little things that they have uh, thought of in even a small style guitar. Rosewood fret uh, fretboards, rosewood bridges. Um, this is urea. This is the, it's a plastic material they use for a lot of their guitars. Very durable it's for their saddles and for their nuts. So. Really great little guitars, and like I said at the beginning, you know, there, a lot of people, you know, small kids play. I taught for years, and I had a lot of small kids would start on these because they could stay in tune, that they would play well, and they wouldn't get frustrated with the with the instrument. Um, but I know a lot of guys who buy them for traveling guitars, or they might have it, you know, for camping or or something, and they're just really really cool. So we're actually going to mic one up because they sound great for what they are. Uh, we're going to mic one up with a really good condenser mic. And so you can hear the sound that these little guitars actually can make. So I'm holding the Yamaha JR1 and I'm using a large diaphragm condenser mic. This is the AKG C214. It's just a great large diaphragm condenser. And I've got it about four or five inches away and aiming towards the 12th or 14th fret, which is a really great starting point for miking acoustics in general. And a smaller guitar like this is no exception. Still getting a really, really great sound. So both of these have spruce top. It's gonna to be a very, very similar projection on it. So as a teacher and as a player and someone who sold guitars for a long time, I have a lot of attachment to the Yamaha Juniors. As a teacher, I always knew if a student came in and that was their first guitar, I was like, oh good, something is going to stay in tune. They're not going to get frustrated with the playing of it. And a lot of those kids would grow into bigger guitars and keep these because as a player, they're great because they're just small. I mean, you can sit in the back of a Lazy Boy and you can play it sitting by a campfire and they hold tune and they sound really good. And someone who sells guitars, I always, I always know it's going to work. It's a great price point. It, they're not breaking the bank to get into an instrument that I know uh, will play well. And so that makes them great Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or even if they're just starting lessons anytime year round. Uh, so if you're interested in buying one, uh, we've had some links below where you can jump online and grab one. But if not, please come into the store, talk to us, put one of these in your hands. And even if you're a seasoned guitar player, sit down and pick one up and play it. It's just so fun to do. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, got some good information out of it. Make sure you hit like if you did enjoy, and please subscribe to the channel below if you haven't done so. And uh, if you'd like to know as we drop more videos, because we drop videos every single week, just turn on notifications, and we will see you on the next one.